Well, it's an impressive record of Friday the 13th. 22 wins, five losses, three draws, and he's only been stopped once, and it wasn't a knockout. It was a, a cut above the eye from a, an accidental headbutt. So this man has not been knocked out, like Cameron. Is the former NABA heavyweight champion, trained and managed by Louis Tapia, originally from Nigeria, now residing and fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, US of A. He is Friday the 13th, Ahunanya. <laughs> and his opponent tonight in the blue corner wearing the black trunks with the silver trim. He stands at six feet, two inches tall and weighs in at 103 kilograms. Undefeated with a perfect professional record of 19 wins and no losses with 17 wins coming by way of knockout. He is the current WBO Asia Pacific champion the IBF Pan Pacific Champion and the WBA Pan African Champion. Trained by Antonio Garcia and managed by Kenny Ransfield, he is the pride of Tinaroto in Gisborne. And fighting tonight out of Auckland, New Zealand, give it up for Shane, the Mountain Warrior Cameron. Well, here's the face-off. Friday the 13th on Friday the 2nd. Has he come 11 days too soon? Grant Lee, there is a real anticipation in the house tonight, particularly is that no one knows who's going to win this. Oh, it's an electric atmosphere here. As we're saying, this is the biggest test that Shane Cameron has faced. That big man there, Friday the 13th, Ahananaya, from Las Vegas, uh, originally from Nigeria. A powerful man. He's fought the best in the world. He put Sultan Abragamov, the current world champ, on the canvas. He's fought the Olympic gold medalist. He's always in a good hard fight. He's fought two guys that have held the uh, world heavyweight title. And he's determined to give Shane Cameron his first defeat. All right, scheduled for 12. We've had a fantastic undercard. Will this live up to the billing? Shane Cameron says he's in the best shape of his life. We're set to rumble. Shane Cameron has to set the pace early in this fight. He can't allow Friday to uh, to dictate terms. He has to get on top early and stay on top. If there's one knock against Friday, he's a very strong, durable guy, but he can be a little bit lazy if, uh, if the fight's not going his way. He can go into a defensive shell, and that's what Shane Cameron has got to do. He's got to keep the pressure on him early and not allow Friday to get his confidence up. And of course, we know now that Shane's got knockout power on his left hand after tipping over big Bob Murovich after breaking his right hand a couple of fights back. So he's got weapons with both hands. And he's been trading the house down. Obviously, the disappointment of having such an easy fight against Jusima Hippolito, the Brazilian. He knows he's in a real war tonight. Friday claims that he's never been legitimately knocked down as an amateur or pro. He's a very, very tough, durable guy. But Shane Cameron has got the power to knock over anybody. And if he can put Friday away before the distance, uh, that's going to be a massive feather in his cap as far as uh, securing a world title fight is concerned. So the Kiwi just very, very composed, looking to work off the jab. Straight down the middle, the double jab. That's a great punch for Shane Cameron. He's such a powerful man. He's doing all that uh, explosive work with Ken Rainsfield and uh, it's turned him into a very very strong explosive fighter he's got good speed and tremendous power in the left and right hands Friday's been a pro for eight years these two met at Vegas about three or four years ago and the Friday can't believe the development that Shane's had over the last three years as a pro never thought he was going to fight Cameron didn't think he was good enough three or four years ago well he's proven his point 19-0 well, they did some sparring together, and of course, uh, in those days, Shane Cameron was still learning his craft, but uh, he's learned a lot in those five years, and he's now a genuine world-class heavyweight. He's actually rated above David Tua in uh, some of the world ratings, so that gives you an indication of uh, just how the 
governing bodies of world boxing, you, Shane Cameron. Level one, two from the Mountain Warrior, connected with both punches. Clubbing left hand, but that was well blocked by Friday the 13th. But he's finding he's finding a hole straight down the middle with that stiff jab, is Cameron. That's a great punch, uh, Shane Cameron's jab. Comes from those explosive bench presses he does. He can really fire it out very, very fast with a lot of kick behind it. Sort of a Joe Lewis, Larry Holmes kind of jab. A lot of kick behind it. Less than 20 seconds remaining. Nice little right hand there from Shane Cameron. Already he's finding uh, gaps in Friday's defence. Straight up the middle too. That's a 10 second clacker. We're late in the first round. Scheduled to go for 12. This has been a good opening round for Shane Cameron. He's dictated the pace well. Oh, end of round one. Welcome to Three Sports Boxing Special win Shane Cameron's corner, of course, with trainer Kenny Rainsfield. And it's a pretty good opening round, Grant Lee. Very good opening round. We know that uh, Shane Cameron has also hired Antonio Garcia as a a tactical advisor and to help with his boxing skills and it seemed to work in the first round not only has he got that power but he's got that piston like jab working very very well good opening round for Shane Cameron let's see if he can go on with the job second round Cameron about two kilos lighter but two inches taller the one real big danger that Shane Cameron has is that he does tend to cut a little bit uh, in fights. We saw that, the, cut, that uh, cut, absolute cut. war he had with Roger Ism Rattay, where it looked like, he'd, uh, it looked like he'd done 10 rounds with the Mad Butcher. <laughs> Just a little bit of grease on Shane Cameron's back there. So that's the one knock against uh, Shane Cameron, that he does tend to cut a little bit. So Friday uh, will be very much aware of that, and he'll be uh, looking to do a little bit of rough stuff in closer to uh, try and open up those eyebrows a little bit. Shane Cameron has got to be careful. He can't get too confident. That was a good opening round, but he's got to still be very, very careful. This guy is a proven stayer. Cameron on the ropes. Uh, no damage done. Just shrugs that off. Look at that triple with the jab. Sweet. Great jab work there from Shane Cameron. That's uh, really adding weaponry to his arsenal. Both these guys, of course, have done a fair bit of sparring with Mike Tyson too. So they've really been in there with the top shelf heavyweights. And Shane Cameron looking very good in this second round as well. Just lining up with the one, two, and then to the body. He's got front of the 13th on the back foot there, covering up. Just looking for that opening. He's found a patience down the middle, and now he's going to the body. He's really out jabbing Friday, isn't he? With behind that left hand, it's a very, very good punch of uh, Shane Cameron's. He seems to have uh, added quite a bit of speed to uh, his last fight with Roger Isenatay for the last, uh, the last big performance in New Zealand. In yeah. New Zealand, yeah. So working beautifully off the jab is the Mountain Warrior. Once again, going to the body. Oh, big hook from Shane Cameron. He's got Friday on the ropes. Less than a minute remaining in the second round, and Shane Cameron's calling the tune. Well, he's dominating. I, I said at the top of the show that uh, he really had to get on the front foot early and uh, make sure that Friday didn't get his confidence up, and he's, he's followed, that, uh, followed that pattern very, very well. No doubt his corner telling him to, to keep Friday backing up. This is where Shane Cameron does so much good work. He's a tremendous body puncher as well, and very physically strong. Well, the fact that he's weighing under 103, uh, I don't think even he expected to, to be in, in this great shape uh, for, for, for a man of this calibre, but he's trained the house down and, and, and looking fantastic. He really is focused on the world heavyweight title fight. If he wins this fight, it'll be 20-0 and 0 and uh, staring down the barrel of a, of a, a title fight. I mean, he's in there with a guy that's fought two heavyweight champions and gone very well with them, so there's no reason on this performance that Shane Cameron can't uh, do outstandingly well in the heavyweight title fight. Friday coming back, but Shane Cameron's there to meet him. Fire with fire. Oh! End of round two. Welcome back. Cameron against Friday the 30th. Look at that. Doubling up, tripling up on that jab. And that's been the weapon so far for Cameron in these opening two rounds. Well, the jab sets up the platform for everything else, sir. Uh, 
and Shane Cameron behind the jab has got a great kit of punches and he showed them uh, to full effect in that round. Good round again from Shane Cameron. He's won the first two on my card. Friday the 13th, born in Nigeria, spent the last 10 years in Vegas, has been a pro for eight. Comes out with a, a vicious left hook, but uh, Cameron just parried that off. Well, he's stepping it up as Ahunanya. He, he knows he's behind on points after the first two rounds. Oh, and already and Shane Cameron's cut. starting to leak. He's starting Stadium. to leak blood. Got caught with that left hand, didn't he? He sucker punched him right at the opening bell, and uh, Shane Cameron is cut over the right eye. Ken Reinsfeld already getting ready in the corner to go to work on it, patch it up. Break, well, we've break. seen this before. Yeah. Get over there. Just about every Shane Cameron fight, he gets a bad cut. Against Bob Mirovic, of course. And that was the fight where he had the broken hand as well. So he, he's, he's done very well in the past in adversity. This is hopefully a minor cut. Well, the doctor giving it uh, very close attention. Ivan, the score's by a punch. All right? Is that okay? Tyler! Well, now Friday the 13th's got a target. He'll just pick away at that cut. Well, this was always going to be the danger for Shane Cameron. Friday is very durable, very experienced. Shane Cameron doesn't want to give him any uh, any room to move or any head start at all, and that cut is uh, it's going to get worse. Well, he's just thrown seven jabs, followed up with the right hand and back on the jab. There's Cameron, so he's still keeping very busy. The thing about a cut, sometimes it can also make you desperate, and Shane Cameron, he can't afford to make any mistakes against this guy because he's in there with 104 kilos of uh, rock-solid muscle. He has to stay patient. He has to stay composed, and he has to keep the work rate high and not let Friday get the upper hand. Shane Cameron uh, bangs to the body. This is where he does such good work, Shane Cameron. Those big body shots. Very powerful man. He's got to do it again and again. Beautiful one, two, followed by a, a shot to the body. He's got an Anunnaki on the ropes. Back, back, back. Shane Cameron's eye is starting to bleed pretty freely, but he's, uh, he's really starting to target Friday's uh, midsection as well. He just has to stay composed, Shane Cameron, not panic. Moving beautifully. Both men, very agile. Cameron wears a couple right on the kisser there, a couple of straight lefts from Ahunanya. You can see our name now. He's looking at that cut as the blood just pours down Cameron's face. But Cameron goes to the body. Friday comes back with a couple of jabs. It's a case of who's going to get hit with the jab first. They really are a pair of class boxes in there. The Shane Cameron oh. showing the effects of war in there. Another sweet jab from the Mountain Warrior, less than 10 seconds remaining in the third. How serious is this cut? Remember, we're scheduled for 12. Five. End of round three. Well, we're at Cameron's corner, of course. They're doing some remedial work to that eye, but first glance, Grant Lee, it's, it's away from the pupil, it's away from the danger area around the eyebrow, so it's, it's not too bad. Yeah, but it's, it's going to get worse if uh, Friday keeps targeting it. That was a good little left hook. He hit, uh, he hit Shane Cameron with to open that, that cut, and uh, Shane's got to be very, very careful here. No doubt Ken Reinsfeld has uh, done a good job closing it up. But this is where Shane Cameron he wants to get on Friday straight away and uh, take the play away. Really start to back him up against the ropes and land those big body shots again. Because physically he can, he can maul Friday. You can see Friday uh, looking for the opening for that left hook again. And there's another one. He's targeting that eye. Oh, a right hand over the top from Friday. He's like a hunter just going for the kill, isn't he? He's targeting that eye with that left hook every time. Yes, Cameron wearing a bit of leather and on the back foot. Now he comes forward, goes to the body, but look at that repost straight from Friday. Cameron's just got to keep that head moving. 
Covers up nicely, protects the eye. The Friday's grown in confidence. I said that this, this was a danger. If, it, if there was a cut, he would grow in confidence. But Shane Cameron comes straight back. Beautiful right hand. Again, Shane Cameron plays a massive oh, and he's still good stiff jab. Right Great stiff jab. The Cameron's got him on the ropes. This is and developing to a cracker. He's still throwing. Shane Cameron is game and tough as strong as they come. Well, this is shades of the Izon Rito fight, shades of the Bob Miravic fight. Cameron cut and bloody. And not being disrespectful to uh, Roger and Bob, but Friday's in a, a, a higher level again. A lot of people across the Tasman think that Shane Cameron has bitten off more than he can chew against uh, Friday, but he's fought very well so far. Let's just hope that cut doesn't worsen. But you can see Friday looking for it. He's looking to slip the jab and throw that left hook every time against the eye. Ooh, his big body shot again from Shane Cameron. Well, you can hear it. Oh, and he gets clubbed across the chops as well. So Friday's giving as good as he's getting at the moment. Shane Cameron, oh, loading up on the left hook right hand. This is where he does so much big work, Shane Cameron, when he gets him against the ropes and powers in those body shots. But Friday's hit him with two good jabs. So both boys, it's hit and be hit at the moment. Less than a minute remaining in the fourth. Cameron, though, still got Friday near the ropes. Goes off the top. A really, really willing heavyweight fight, this. We're only in the fourth round. And already my voice is getting hoarse. There's some, been some big, big shots in there. Cameron really loading up with the right hand. Hit nothing but daylight. Now it's Cameron's turn to go on the ropes. Get off the ropes, Shane Cameron. Get off the ropes. Oh, big uppercut got out of the way just in time. Shane has got to dictate the pace in this fight. He can't let Friday get the upper hand. He's got to keep the pressure on. Well, once again, this is proving to be another bloody war. Shane Cameron, though, looking good. Just that eye, the big problem as we go into round five. We're a full house at the Sky City Convention Center. Shane Cameron, well, he caught that big left hook, didn't he? That's been uh, Friday's best punch so far. He's targeting that cut eye, the cut beside the right eye of uh, Shane Cameron. And he's finding a home for the left hook when he throws a Friday. But Shane Cameron, his game as they come, did a little bit of a stutter there with his feet, but he came back with some big, big shots late in the round. I did notice in that round, Friday's left hand started to drift a little bit low. I don't know if he's starting to get a bit arm weary, but that's good news for Shane Cameron if he can drop that right hand over the top of uh, Friday's low left. Cameron loading up with that left hook. That was the punch that knocked out big Bob Murovich. So we know we've got power in that left hand. Great oh, jab. Another sweet jab. That's a beautiful punch by Shane Cameron. He's got to throw it more, though. Just keep pumping it. Because behind the jab, everything else will follow. Now he's going to try and position Friday against the ropes. Friday acknowledges that was a pretty good hook. Now watch for Shane to really dig in a couple of big body shots here. Goes to the left hook again. He, he's finding he's finding some real estate there. Look at that. Friday's covering up for that left hook. Got that hand raised nice and high. Friday's left hand's drifting very low again. I can see Shane Cameron firing through a big straight right hand down the middle very, very soon. Gee, that hand's low, isn't it? Maybe he's just trying to suck a Shane in, into the uh, right, his own right hand, but... Uh, Watch for Shane Cameron to drop in a big body shot here. Boom, there it goes. Big right hand down the middle. And they hurt. It's like a baseball bat. Actually, you can see Friday wince. Oh, oh he big right hand. Now, that was a great right hand. Up, Shane. Come on, Shane Cameron. Against the ropes, driving another big body shot. Break, break, the back. I'll tell you, Friday Ahunanya looks a bit gassed. Well, He's having some, digging in some big breathers here. I don't blame him. He's absorbed some big, big shots from Shane Cameron. A very, very powerful punch. Oh. And he rocks. Shane Cameron's got to keep the pressure on here. He can gain the upper hand here. Spear out that jab. Very fast. That's what Shane Cameron... There, there's, there's a big body, body shot. shot. Yes. Very, very good work. Let's go. Well, he's had him pinned on the ropes now for the 
good 60 seconds in this round as we go into the final 50 of round number five. Shane Cameron with the left, the clubbing left, followed by the body shot for the right. And this has been a great round for Shane Cameron because once again, he's in charge. The last couple of rounds, it looked like Friday was starting to get a roll on. He's, he's calling Shane Cameron in. Shane doesn't want to get caught coming in, but uh, on the ropes. Oh, another big, good body shot from Shane Cameron. That right hand to the side of the ribcage. Great shot from Shane Cameron. Well, that's his forte, isn't it? it the body shots, that's where he's done so much damage with his 17 knockouts and his 19 fights to date. It doesn't matter how fit or strong you are, those body shots after a while break you down. That's the clacker as we're late in round five. Back oh, comes Friday, Friday comes hits him with strong. a couple of big right hands. He's got Cameron on the ropes, just seconds away. Well, what a finish from Friday Ahunanya. End of round five. Welcome back, Howard Dobson with Grant Lee Keezer. We're in Friday's corner and he certainly finished that round strong, but Cameron dominated. He had Friday pinned on the ropes for most of the round. There's the overhead right. He but then, what a finish in this round four, Friday. Well, Friday put some great punches together the last five seconds, but most of the round belonged to Shane Cameron. He wants to, at the bell here, jump on Friday and make sure that Friday's confidence doesn't come back. He wants to control it from the, from the get-go here, Shane Cameron. Boom, a jab straight down. Straight down the middle, Shane Cameron. That's to get that jab going. Keep Friday on the back foot. Johnny Lewis, the master coach who trained so many world champions in Australia, always says with the jab, even if you don't hit the chin, aim for the chest. Just keep them on the back foot. Make sure they can't set up. And that's what Shane Cameron has done pretty well throughout this fight so far. Again, jabbing to the body. The thing, though, with Friday is he can counter-strike off the back foot. Oh, he's a, he's a good counter-puncher. He's a good counter-puncher. But if, if Shane Cameron can, uh, can contain him and uh, keep the momentum going, he can, he can dominate. He's just got to be careful that uh, Friday doesn't get his confidence up. Nice. As, as it looked like when he cut his eye, it looked like Friday was coming on strong, but uh, Shane Cameron seems to have contained it and, and nipped the fire in the bud to some extent. And in this last round or so, he hasn't, that eye hasn't cut up again, so uh, Friday hasn't found the target with the, with the left hook. Well, Kenny Rainsfeld has uh, done a very, very good job in the corner. Quick, quick, it's always a worry with Shane Cameron because he does tend to cut in, it, in every big fight that he has. But he's, uh, he's doing a good job in there, Shane Cameron. Now watch for the body shots. There they go. Just gets pushed it. off. Friday says, I'm ready for some more, sir. Oh, good hook from Friday. But again, Shane Cameron, not to be denied. Break, guys. Break, break. It's the break. He wants to use his physical strength in there too, Shane Cameron. He's a very, very strong man. And watch for a big body shot underneath. There it goes. Well, while Friday stays on the ropes, Shane can just start pick away. But Friday, he's, he's always happy to stay there. And he uses the left hook to try and pour that damaged eye to, to get away from the ropes, which he's done successfully. Just slipping there a little bit on the on the water, Shane Cameron. It's very, very slippery in there. I tell it's very slippery over here too. Shane Cameron's blood has splattered our notes at ringside. It's been a very, very willing, tough fight, this. But so far, so good for Shane Cameron. He's in control. Another good jab. Goes down to the top, left the right. Now, if, if Shane Cameron can keep this momentum up, I think Friday will go into his shell and just box for survival. Another rip to the body from the mountain warrior who's just using that midriff. Good hook there from Fr Friday. He's dangerous. Shane's got to be careful. He's got to kick that right hand very high. Big body shot again from Shane Cameron. He's just got to kick... Oh, right hand to the body from Shane Cameron. He's just got to keep the runs on the board. Just like a batsman, just keep piling up the runs. End of round six. Welcome back to Three Sports Live coverage. Our main event, Shane Cameron up against Friday the 13th. Ahunanya. Pretty even round this one, Grantly. Well, it was, but I just like the way that Shane Cameron went to work on Friday's body every time he went in close. There's that big left rip underneath. 
and uh, Friday signalling in, he wants to go on with the contest, but uh, a lot of that's bravado because those body shots, that's they cool. really hurt. And as I was saying the last round, if Shane Cameron can m maintain the momentum and keep Friday pinned against the ropes, I think Friday will just box the survival and, and Shane can go on and win this fight very comfortably. Shane's still got to watch out for that left hook, though. Oh, yeah, he's got to be very, very careful because Friday can punch and he's very tough. Break! Break! It's the break! Keep your heads up. Let's go. But a lot of people thought that uh, maybe Shane Cameron was biting off more than he could chew in this fight, that maybe Friday was a, a test too far, but so far... Break! Shane Cameron has uh, passed this test with flying colours. He's, he's boxed very, very well. He's had some adversity to cope with, some severe adversity with the cut, but he didn't panic. He stayed composed and controlled. He's got a very good corner, and uh, he's done a very good job so far. Halfway through the fight, he's, uh, he's way ahead on my scorecard. Of course, the Mountain Warrior looking for that perfect 20-0 and record. Oh, another double up on that jab. Cameron Camp have made no secret. They want to fight David Tour. Tour's turned down the... They're off for a quarter of a million dollars. So that's this, is a, stepping, something. this that's is a stepping stone for, for Cameron to get to, to Vegas or the US. And I mean, Shane Cameron's in with a quality fighter, a guy that, uh, I mean, Friday right. put Sultan right. and Bragamov, right. the heavyweight champion of the world, on the canvas awesome. only a couple of years ago. He is a quality fighter. Gave Sultan all the fight he could handle. Fought the uh, Olympic gold medalist, Pavetkin, went the distance with him. He's fought really good fighters, drew with Dominic Gwynn. And yeah, Shane Cameron is not to be denied here tonight. He's controlling this fight well. That Abramov fight, though, was stopped because of the accidental headbutt. So uh, oh Friday the 13th lost that. But yeah. uh, he kept him honest. So he's fought world class. And now Shane Cameron is showing he's world class. And that, uh, that logo in the middle of the ring is very, very slippery. We just saw Friday's feet slip from underneath him there. These guys have got a lot to cope with. Not only big punches coming their way, but uh, a slippery canvas. Beautiful right hook. Hit him flush on the button. Oh. Shane can use his physical strength here and bully Friday around a little bit. Stay in charge. That's the important thing for Shane Cameron. That should be his mantra. Just stay in charge. Good right hand over the top. That's very very slippery surface it's causing problems but uh, Shane Cameron's still doing enough to win this fight but more clarity coming now from that eye of Shane Cameron uh, he's got a legacy though every time this happens and it's happening with a bit of regularity it, it's he, always a worry but he's still able to dominate yes he's getting more and more experienced more confident and this has been a big right. step up, right. and uh, so far he's climbed it very, very well, the step. Just seconds remaining in the seventh round. Oh. Shane Cameron still looking good. Friday the 13th, his record 22 wins, five losses, three draws, only been stopped once, he's 35. Been a pro now for eight years. He is easily the biggest name that Shane Cameron's fought on his uh, short but illustrious career. And he's got a bit of work to do, the well, Nigerian. He's behind on points on, on my school card. He's getting uh, a bit of a rev up there from his trainer, Lewis oh, Tapia. Oh. Shane Cameron oh, has, uh, has performed certainly uh, very, very well in this fight so far. And uh, he's just got to keep doing this and he'll, he'll win at least a decision. I'm sure he'd be hoping to uh, score a, a late round stoppage, but a points win would be uh, just as handy, I think. Certainly he's going to look very, very good on his resume, barring uh, barring uh, disaster in these uh, last third of the fight. The way I see it, Shane Cameron's going to uh, win a pretty uh, pretty good points decision. He's just, just got to keep doing what he's doing. Well, what's up, Hunan, the fight of the 13th? Got in store. Shane Cameron still dominating. He's, he's, he's scoring with both hands. Uh, no, you, um, uh, no, you're still backpedaling. He's fighting himself near the ropes again. Cameron just looking for that opening. Front of the 13th, starting to grapple and hold on a bit more. Well, he's tired. He's absorbed some big body shots. And some big shots over the top, too. Some very, very stiff jabs. Let's go. 
but very, very experienced. He certainly knows how to survive this Big Friday. Claims to have never legitimately been knocked down, amateur or pro. And, uh, boy, won't this crowd go berserk if uh, Shane Cameron manages to put him on the canvas. Cameron just leaning on him and then loading up the body shots. What a big uppercut. That's the holding. That was a good shot from Friday. Right, sit back. He lined That's his man up for that. He, uh, that was a set move. Right, guys. Right, step back. You can see that Friday starting to fatigue, isn't he? Well, he's looking a little bit ragged, but uh, as we've said, he's a durable. He knows how to survive. He knows all the tricks. And this is what I was saying, if Shane Cameron could get the early moment, momentum, uh, I always felt that Friday might just in the closing rounds box for survival because uh, Shane Cameron sapped a lot of his strength from those big body shots that he's been throwing. Good left hand from Friday, and again, he's pouring away at that eye. He can't turn Shane Cameron back, though. He's, he's landed some shots, but Shane Cameron very strong and... Uh, He's walked through them, and that must be very, very discouraging to Friday. It's the old line against the uh, the young mountain warrior, and uh, the young guy showing him a few tricks. Good defense, right. right now he comes back inside. And just looking for that opening shot. It's going up against the ropes again. Right on the bell. End of round eight. Well, once again, Shane Cameron coming forward. This is where he caught the uppercut. Big uppercut. That one landed. That one scored for Friday. That was a Lennox Lewis move. Hold with one hand and uppercut with the other. But Shane Cameron rode it pretty well. There's Big Friday. He's got the job in front of him. But we know he's dangerous. We know he's been there with some great, great fighters and performed very well. And he's got that one-punch knockout go, capability, go. and that's what Cameron's got to be aware Let's of. Go. Once again, Shane's got to get on top early. Both class boxers testing each other out with the left hands. Yeah, it's just a, a jabathon in the start of this round. A lot of uh, a lot of respect between the pair. Oh, good right hand from Friday. Always dangerous. Comes back hard. Oh, oh big right hand down, down the middle. Shane Cameron. Shane Cameron. Cameron's Shane in trouble here. Get He's in trouble. He's got two down the middle. He's got a punch out of this. Could this be the, the big moment for Shane Cameron? He's never been stopped or knocked down before in his professional career. Now there's blood coming out of the mouth of the Mountain a mess. He's a mess, Shane Cameron. He's cut over both eyes. The referee taking him back to the doctor again. This could be a disaster for Shane Cameron. Well, that's the most punishment he's had as a pro. Both eyes cut. Is that close by punch? Close. Well, that's a bad. Look at the right hand straight down the middle coming. Bang! Bang. There it is. And again. Well, hopefully this fight won't be stopped by the doctor. Here we go. They're both bad cuts. Shane Cameron has suffered the crowd. Willing Shane Cameron on. Yeah, they know he's in trouble. They know he's in trouble. The they know he's in Get out of there, Shane Cameron. Fire back. Oh, I hit them. Cameron in big trouble. Shane Cameron's face a mess. He's absorbing some big right hands. It's bad cut over his right eye and over He's his left eye. He's got to fight back. Could this be the big turning point in Shane Cameron's career? He must hold on. He must survive this round and allow Ken Lansfield to go to work in the corner and close those eyes up. Uh, this... <laughs> There's the sweat on the canvas. That's a very lucky breather for Shane Cameron. Yes. A very lucky breather for Shane Cameron. Now just box, box out this round, Shane. It's, don't get caught again with well, any of those so shots, He's susceptible Shane. to that uppercut too, isn't he? I mean, how can he see out of these two eyes that are bleeding? 
His face is a mess, Shane Cameron, but his heart is rock solid. He's doing his best to come back against this dangerous, dangerous African-American. Another big right mm -hmm. hand from Friday. A left hook oh, from Friday. Cameron on the he got to get out of there. Cameron just throwing that jab. This is a war, folks. Go, Shane Cameron. Once again, Friday slips. We've got a swimming pool out here on this canvas. It's either a swimming pool or a bloodbath. Back to the corner they go. The doctor again called in. Very anxious moments for Shane Cameron in his corner. Oh, the uppercut. Oh, oh down no. the middle. How can a man see when his face is covered in blood? Well, he's seeing just on instinct now, Dobbo. Very game man, Shane Cameron, but he's copped a massive punishment. His oh. face is a mask of blood. He must do something to survive this round. He's just got to keep throwing that life, jab. Shane. Hang on for dear life. Just keep throwing that jab. Well, you talked about Friday being in survival mode. We've got Shane Cameron in survival mode. Desperate survival mode. Well, that's boxing. A couple of punches can change the whole outlook of a fight. The Shane Cameron's in very deep waters now. Let's hope he doesn't drown. Well, what a chin, what a heart. Shane Cameron. Well, we're in Cameron's corner. We're in Cameron's corner. He's a bloody mess. Kenny Rainsfield working overtime. It's a massive patch-up job. They must be very, very worried in that corner. They seem calm and composed, but this is the most trouble that Shane Cameron has ever been in. He's badly cut over both eyes, and he's in there with a, with a monster who's proved himself against some of the best heavyweights in the world. Very anxious times for Shane Cameron. Let's hope that he can come out of this OK. Well, the crowd here at Sky City are about to lift the rope. Can they bring the Mountain Warrior home? Because they're going to need it. Shane Cameron's might need some divine intervention to get out of this one. Again, the fast hands of Friday proving very, very difficult for Shane Cameron. He's in a dilemma. He, he can't afford to get hit, but then by the same token, he can't afford to let Friday get the upper hand either. So he's got to open up with his own punches, and that leaves him vulnerable with those cuts so bad over both eyes. What a remarkable turnaround the space of a couple of rounds. Cameron oh. going to the body. This he's, is where he does so much good work. He's just got to be careful. You can see he's wary about coming in because he knows those eyes are bad. Very fragile around both peepers. Well, this is the fight of the Mountain Warrior's life. They want him to go to America and prove to the Americans that he's world class. America is in town in the form of this Las Vegas Nigerian who is just picking at the, he's got two he's got two targets hasn't he I mean the chances of, of reopening that eye are so high but Cameron just continues to keep coming forward all he's got to do is throw out a punch and there's a, a spray of blood coming his way it's a very bad shape both eyes Shane Cameron but I feel he's got he's got a still a sizable points lead. He's just got to be careful that uh, this fight doesn't get stopped. Even at this stage, if the fight goes the distance, I think that Shane can still win on points. Absolutely, and he's still moving ahead well. I mean, you can see that he's still got the legs, leg drive, stopping and moving with the head. It's it's a good sign in terms of of what he's got in the tank. Nice double up on the jab, trying to go over the top with the right. Look how slippery it's that is. So dangerous and treacherous, that ring canvas. What an extraordinary fight. You see Friday's trying to draw him in to throw that right hand over the top. He knows how, what bad shape those eyes are in. Well, Here we are in round 10. Shane Cameron's got him on the ropes. He's just got a bang. I tell you, the crowd here absolutely adore Shane Cameron. He's a man with enormous heart. A good sportsman. A couple of times he could have taken advantage when Friday slipped and he didn't. Well, he, Cameron giving his all. He can hardly see. He's, New Zealand's Arturo Gatti, isn't he, Shane Cameron? Every fight's a bloodbath and every fight's a war. What a warrior. Here we are late in the tenth. He's got a pen on the right, banging to the body. We're scheduled for 12. 
A good round for Shane Cameron. Welcome back to Three Sports Live Boxing Special in Friday's corner. But the big question, Grant Lee Keezer, is with two rounds to go, hopefully it's not going to be the side of the doctor. And yeah. look at that, that cut, particularly over the left eye. In Friday's corner, they're telling, him, they're telling him to just keep throwing punches that those eyes will open up and he's a big chance to win this fight on the stoppage. In Shane Cameron's corner, they're saying nothing stupid. You're in head on points, don't get caught by sucker punches from this big boy. Round the lever. We're sort of in sprint and animation here, just wondering what's going to happen next. The atmosphere is just electric. I'm nervous. I know you're nervous. We don't want this fight to be stopped and Shane Cameron to lose on cuts. He's fought so splendidly through the first 10 rounds, showing so much heart. And once again, just the pool of sweat and blood. He's going to his corner. This time, mercifully, they won't need the doctors. It's something to do with his gloves. He's going to re-wrap the glove. The tape's come loose on one of the gloves, yeah. Well, uh, can Shane Cameron just hold on for two more rounds? I guess both men uh, would be very, very glad to get this little spell. They've given their all in this fight. Friday's over in the other corner, just itching to get at that bad cut over the left eye of Shane Cameron. Yeah, he's, he's like got... a, a cat on a hot tin roof. He's, he's ready to charge at Cameron, isn't okay, he? Do us, do us. That's so where Shane's got to be careful when they come back that he, he doesn't get caught by us, another sucker punch. He's got to have his hands up as soon as they go back into an exchange. Here we That's go. It. See, Sha Friday tried to get him straight away with that sucker punch left hook. That's the one that opened the first cut over the right eye in the third round. He's also doing the damage with, with Cameron with that uppercut straight up the middle. Yeah. He's again sconed him on the chin. So we've got blood. We've got water everywhere there. There Friday slips. How fortuitous was that break for the gloves for Shane Cameron. Now it's back to some hard work. Shane Cameron staying nice and close. Nothing stupid from him. He's not panicking. Good jobs. That's all he's got to do is just got to control these last couple of rounds with the left hand and he's going to win on points. Oh, oh another big right Big hand. right hand from Friday. Well, Cameron showing nothing else. He's, he's got a granite jaw and the, the visibility issues that he's got. He's just standing in front of Friday the whole time. We haven't seen him dance around the ring oh. and stay out of trouble. Cops another right hand. Oh, and a left hook from Friday. Shane must be careful here. He can't allow this guy to come home strong in the last couple of rounds. Look how slippery it is. I mean, Friday's struggling to stay in upright here. And it's not because of Shane Cameron's power at the moment. It is so slippery. Well, both fighters very tired. They've given their all. Friday's had the best of this round so far. Well, he talked about Friday the third, and it's turned out to be Friday, bloody Friday, for Shane Cameron. But like the war horse he is, he just keeps on coming on. He cops another right. He's falling to the trap of standing straight in front of Friday in this round, and uh, he's copped some big shots as Shane Cameron. Another one. He's got to come in on angles more, not stand straight in front, because he's a sitting duck with those eyes. The problem is, Grant Lee, how can you change the angle when you can't place a secure step? With all the sweat and blood. More problems with the gloves. <laughs> well, that's that's fortuitous, but I tell you, they could throw a bit of tape over those cuts if they wanted. <laughs> They'd be there with about eight, eight yards of tape, I reckon. He's just absolute. Looks like he's been hit by an axe, doesn't it? Here we go, late in the eleventh. We still have Shane Cameron ahead on points. Oh, look at that! I mean, he's struggling to stay upright. There's the 10 second clacker. He's just got to hang on for these dying seconds of the 11th, get another patch up job, and give it his all for the last. Well, the bloody war continues. Shane Cameron, nice right hand up the middle. They're just slipping and sliding. There he cops a right hand. Both men banging big time with that right hand in round 11. It's very difficult for both fighters in there. Huge punches are being thrown and they're on an unstable surface. 
but I expect Friday to uh, to come out swinging this round. This is his last chance to score a stoppage, of course, and uh, he knows those cuts are bad. I think we're going to see some desperate stuff from Friday in this round. Here we go, 12th and final field. round. Be careful, Shane Cameron, because this guy's trying to, going to try and slice you up even worse than before. Good Friday right comes hand. out with that stiff jab, but cocks a right hand. When you're not sure of your feet, anything can happen here. Cameron gets caught with that little uppercut. This is crazy. These guys are just sliding like an ice rink here. It is so wet. We've got three bouts on the line. Neither man has been knocked out before. And it comes down to this. I think Shane Cameron has won the fight so far, but he's going to be an awful mess tomorrow. Look at his face. What heart this guy has shown. Friday looks as fresh as a daisy facially anyway, but uh, Shane Cameron. Boy, is that the face of a warrior or what? The Mountain Warriors got less than two minutes to hang on. Good job from Shane Cameron. Good work. Nothing stupid. I mean, he'll, he'll get this if he's, just as I say, he walks into his... Oh, another, another one. one. Come on, Shane, don't blow it now. He's still throwing bombs with... Well, Friday's throwing two haymaking lefts. Shane's got out of trouble. Look at Friday on the ropes. Here's a chance to Shane to, for Shane to put a statement on this 12th round. He's got him on the ropes. Yes, he's hurting. Yes, he's bleeding. Shane Cameron again takes a big shot. Oh, oh. big uppercut. Big uppercut. Shane Cameron's knocked down. Oh, oh, my gosh. Late in the 12th, he's been knocked over. Oh, it's oh. just an absolute mess. Oh. Blood gushing out of his face. What a mess. That's the first time in Shane Cameron's professional career we've seen him tipped over and look at him. Hang on to survival, Shane. Hang on, Shane. Get out of there, Shane. Oh, no. They've stopped it. They've stopped it. Shane Cameron, what an absolute disaster. Oh, what a terrible night for New Zealand boxing. Shane Cameron, he fought so splendidly. But he couldn't see the punches coming. The cuts were so bad, he couldn't see the punches coming. Well, this is what ended it. Big right hand. There was the left hook to finish. Then another right hand. Then another left, another left up the middle. And that put him on the canvas a second time. All right, we'll be back in a moment with reaction. Shane Cameron beaten for the first time. Stay with us on 3Sport. You're with three sports, yes, Shane Cameron. Well, what a shock. He's had his first loss. Let's go to Roger Farrelly with the formalities. Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for both our fighters tonight. And we have a winner stopped by the referee in the 12th round, a TKO. In the red corner, Friday the 13th, Ahunanya. Well, Grant Lee Keezer, what does this now mean for the, for the Mountain Warrior? They had the heart and their sights set on the US. He showed he's got all the heart and the granite, uh, just the blood issue, and in the end just was outclassed. Well, Shane Cameron, a sad, sad night for Shane Cameron. He fought so well and looked like he was on his way to victory halfway through the fight, but those cuts, unless he can do something about those eyes which just bleed at the, at the side of a punch, uh, it's going to be very, very difficult for him to uh, climb to the real top of the heavyweight division. Great fight, enormous heart, but just look at his face. All right, well, on behalf of Grant Lee Keezer, I'm Howard Dobson. Thanks for joining us for our three-sport boxing special. Disappointment for the Shane Cameron camp. Friday the 13th prevails. Nightline's coming up next. From all of the three-sports team, it's a good night from the Sky City Convention Centre.